quick, what's a memory that sticks out in your mind from math class? Do you got it? Was it positive? When we ask adults to tell us that memory, most times it's a negative memory. And what hurts our hearts is that children as young as kindergarten are forming those memories now. And what's worse is that you probably don't remember any of the math. You just remember the negativity. So what good are we math teachers doing? We need to change these memories. What if students remembered lessons you did five years later? What if students remembered how to be resilient when problem solving? What if they remembered a lesson on rates of change and slope five years later and they smiled? What if they remembered that visual representation of fractions when they get to high school? What if we could reach all students in our math classes, especially when there are students who have skill sets grade levels apart? What if memories your students had from math class years in the future were positive instead of the negative memories most of us have? These things are possible. It's not luck. They just don't happen by chance. These powerful moments can be created. We can learn how to make these moments for our students. And that's exactly why we built this four-part series on making math moments that matter. I'm John Orr from MrOrIsAGeek.com. And I'm Kyle Pierce from TapIntoTeenMinds.com. And we too have been frustrated with our students' apathy towards math class. And we want to help you create better moments in your math class.